Stand by. We will begin momentarily. Beginning, starting. Hello and 
welcome to the 2020 DYCD Film Festival Virtual Edition. My name is Joyce Diverse. I'm a Senior Director at the Department of Youth and Community Development. On the behalf of my colleagues, I want to send you a big thank you for creating such amazing films during these difficult times. The DYCD Film Festival is one project of many that we have to give young people the opportunity to show just how amazing they are. We're about to view the top 20 videos of all the submissions that came across our city. So at this time, I call all the filmmakers, all the families, the friends, and everyone else to come in, sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, and view these great films. Enjoy.
I'm not doing well. I need something. Can you help me out? Can you talk to me, chat for me? Bro, you stink. You don't take a shower anymore. Please talk to her for me. Bro, you had the money? Yes, fast. Okay, I need okay, it. okay. I see what I can do. Boy, stop touching yourself. You look crazy out here. I stay here. I will back. Bro, please, act normal. I will be talking with Michelle. Should I bring him to you? Yeah, bring him. Pablo is gone. You got the money? Sí. Boy, you don't take showers anymore? Hurry up, give me the money. Here, here. Ashley, come here. Go, 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 Papa, go. You didn't see anything, right? You better keep your mouth shut. You don't want to know what happens to snitches. I promise, I didn't see anything. Hasta la estupida, idiota, move. Pase, pase. Watch out for her. Okay guys, so for today I'm gonna ask each of you to read the poem that I assigned yesterday. So we're gonna have Mariela read her first and then everybody else is gonna read theirs after, okay? So take it away. I'm cold. Can I have a blanket? No, say the ice officer. You should have thought about that before you try to sneak into this country. When will I be able to see my parents? You will see them when you get back to Mexico. Now stop asking me questions or I will tell your mouth shut, say the ICE officer. I sat in my cage crying, wondering if my parents were okay. Okay, somebody call 911, please. Pablo! Juan, go to the house. Pablo! Guys, don't call him too much. Let him be. Pablo! You guys gotta give him space to breathe. Pablo! Pablo! Good afternoon, students. I know you're all concerned about what happened to Pablo today. The only thing I can tell you is that he had a seizure and he's gonna be okay. Mr. Perez, our assistant principal, is at the hospital with his family right now, and he called me to tell me he's gonna be okay. I know that this experience was traumatic for most of you, so if anybody feels they need to speak to me or our guidance counselor, Ms. Morales, please feel free to do so. Excuse me, do you have a minute? Of course, come in, just close the door behind you. Okay. How can I help you? I have to tell you something very important. I didn't tell you early because I was afraid. Please, tell me. I saw Michelle and Pepe selling the drugs in the school. And I saw them sell pills to Pablo. And I think this might be the reason of why Pablo have the seizure. Ashley, thank you so much for telling me this. These are serious accusations. Are you 100% sure that Michelle and Pepe are the ones selling drugs in school? Yes, and Michelle saw me, so she told me that if I tell on them, they will hurt me. 
You are so brave for doing this. Michelle and Pepe will not bother you. I promise you that. I'm gonna call Mr. Smith so he can help us in this situation. Okay. Mr. Smith, I need you in my office immediately. It's an emergency. Thank you. Check his bag, please. I need to see your purse. So what? It's either I see your purse or I call police officers to come look through your stuff. Let's go to my office, both of you. For the world. We don't know who the murderer is now. But who's gonna go in and stop him? I will. I will go with him. My brother. We will do this. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. There's no other way. I believe in you. That's real, sir.
So this happened to me in real life, actually. We came up with an idea for our film by choosing stuff in our life, like different challenges, goals, conflicts, and stuff like that that we have, and like stuff during the quarantine. And we then we decided how can we make this like not not just relatable, but how can we make it like a real story and give it all the things in the story, like um, conflict, um, plot, all, like how can we give it a plot and and we just we we talked about it. We brainstormed. We contributed ideas to each other. Just just basic conversation. Well, the idea for teleported was that I saw a lot of people doing like these little animal figure videos, and I thought, oh my god, I can make them disappear with stop motion. So I thought, okay, let's do that. I want people to look like a little bit on the dark side of quarantine. How how people don't believe in COVID-19 and go outside anyway. Some people cannot go outside. Some people stay inside. Very often that kids get bullied because of what they like, their sexuality. And it isn't fair because they should be able to like whatever they want. And we're trying to teach a lesson that words can hurt people. And we need to like help those people because their heart, their life is much more harder because of what they express and what they like. Uh, we went through a lot of different stages of development. Uh, went through a lot of different uh, processing. And, uh, originally, we were gonna have the two characters be uh, rivals, uh, but we later realized that it wouldn't really fit well with the rest of the story. It didn't really send a message. Uh, so we, went, we ended up yeah, making the two main characters uh, being friends, so. Hi, this is the producer, director, and actress of this film. I am making this film to hopefully make you all laugh. I am not trying to offend anybody or hurt anybody that is suffering from this issue right now around the world. So I really hope you enjoy this skit and yeah. <laughs> today I've only last time I took a shower was a week ago so I think I'm okay let's go pick out an outfit let's see what outfit I mean this shirt and these pants are okay how long has it been like one and a half weeks won this outfit I think I'm alright. I don't need to change it. I mean, it's not that long, anyways. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna go. Okay, I gotta make breakfast. Go ask the little man what he wants for breakfast.
Hey, little bro, what do you want for breakfast? Um, French toast. No way, we gotta conserve on supplies, materials, and food because I'm not risking my life going outside for food. Pancakes. Okay, fine, I'll make some right now. See you in a bit. I'm here. Perfect, you are just in time for these delicious gluten-free pancakes. Gluten-free what? Fine, if you're not gonna eat gluten-free pancakes because that's all they have in the store, eat this, the banana. Uh-huh. Leave it on the porch. Okay. Don't touch anything on your way out. Get out! Scream! 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 Go, kids. Clean. Who is it? It's your friend. Oh, hi. Hi. Wait, hold up. You're not wearing a mask. Why should I let you in? I have triple plus garlic. And I have the fun three old ladies for this. And then one, I think, has a wheelchair. Use this wisely. Come in! Come in! <laughs> okay. Here's the bathroom. Let's go. I don't have toilet paper. Okay, I'll... Mom, can you get me some toilet paper? Oh, thanks. What is this? A square of toilet paper? We must... Conserve. been a while. I hope you can hear me or at least see me. I'm sorry that I haven't made time for you. You know, even after four years, mom and dad still haven't gotten over the fact that you're not here. They've tried to forget you by burning every piece of you into ashes. It's as if they don't know what's right and what's wrong anymore. They're just so consumed in the world that they live in that they don't really care. Um, but I was able to save her before they got to her. I knew how special she is to you, so. Uh, Mom's been drinking after the divorce, but you knew it was gonna happen. I just hate the fact that you could still could have been here by my side. It's all my fault. I should have gotten there faster, but I didn't. And now look at you. You're gone. Well, I have to go now. Mom probably wants to say how she hates me and how she wishes that I was better off dead. Let's end on a happy note, I guess. Um, I can't believe that you're 10 now. You know, it's been a while. Oh, I forgot. Happy 
birthday.
funny, fun, relatable. Teenagers, hard work, real life, dramatic, dark, struggles, friendship, weird, and creative.
uh, one thing that did happen was actually <laughs> really funny. Uh, we had uh, one of our members uh, was missing. So we thought another guy who was in our group was, <laughs> he was in the wrong group. So he ended up uh, staying the first day with us. Just, we were just talking, like doing the plot. And I think his original class was uh, like robotics or something. And so he spent the first day just thinking of a plot. He like contributed. It was really, it was really uh, funny. So we still enjoyed it. It was my music and Frank and Kayleen because there was doing construction work. So it was actually rare if we actually did work. Sometimes there was no noise and sometimes there was noise. So every time we had to do it, we had to stop. If, if we were almost done, we almost had to stop. We had to stop because of the noise. There were some weird and crazy things happened while making the film. Um, there's this um, incredible person in um, our group named Lucy who's really good at effects makeup. And um, when we were bored, sometimes she'd um, do makeup to make it look like someone had a pencil through their hand and things like that. So it freaked everyone else, but I thought it was awesome. It's pretty funny to see how like everything was getting done. And it was it was like how makeshift things could be because we, we weren't able to really like film it in, like with actual camera. We had to use like capture software to do. Yes, actually, when I was making the film, I went inside to get more props and then I came out and I accidentally stepped on my set for the stop motion. So I had to recreate the whole thing. So... I was doing the, I was probably doing the third part of it until my dog started barking and she was behind me and then I, I tripped on her. She's okay, but I'm not. My back hurts. Hey, ugly. <laughs> what you got in your bag? Give it back to me. Or what? Julie is wearing her red lipstick to match her red sneakers and her red hoodie. She looks so beautiful. What? Give it back to me. Don't play yourself. I want to tell her how I really feel, that I love her and I dream about her every day. You gay? Ew. You be dreaming about your best friend? That's crazy. Wait, wait, wait. This is the best part. Last night, I dreamed that Julie kissed me. Yo, show them really gay. Wait till I tell Beverly, you know? Forget Beverly. Wait till you tell Julie. Facts. Today about to be lit. She likes girls. Ugly. She's gay. Ew. She's gay. Nasty. Hey, Julie. How have you been? And why haven't you responded to my texts and my voicemails? Is it true? It's what true? The rumors, Tessa, that you're gay and you like me? Well, yes, it is true. What? I was going to tell you, but I didn't know how. And the timing just never felt right. It's one thing to be gay, but to be in love with me, that's crazy. You know I don't like girls like that. I talk to you all the time, how I like this boy, how I like that boy. I've never told you I like girls. Julie, I'm sorry. 
I shouldn't have told you, but we could still be friends, right? Be friends? I don't think so, Tessa. I can't be friends with a girl who's in love with me or think she's in love with me. Now go write that in your diary so you'll never forget it. So you're telling me that my daughter's gay? No, not my daughter. Tessa, tell your principal these rumors aren't true. Tell her! Joseph. Answer me! Joseph, relax. Tessa! 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 Tessa, wake up!
this this After after a month, the only thing that really changed was social interaction. You're closer to your family than your friends now.
so yeah i'm going to talk about the pandemic that's been going on lately which is the coronavirus which has caused a lot of things to get canceled people to lose jobs <laughs> Nobody came up for a cure. <laughs> like, what are y'all doing? It can kill you. Spread by contact, like touch. You develop symptoms usually within 14 days. It spreads pretty easily because look how much people have it now. It is airborne. It lives on surfaces for a good amount of hours. All the untruths that I can think of and that I know. I read it online that I guess the coronavirus came from a seafood shop in China. But then they said it came from a bat. I honestly don't know. And then they're saying that a scientist made it in a lab. Whoever made it, wherever it came from, it need to go back. <laughs> it's been very, very boring. I have school work to do, but even more than before, it seems like. But I have to do it because I want to graduate. My quarantine experience has been pretty much boring. I've been staying home watching Netflix, doing Google Classroom, because we have to do it or our grades are going to drop watching YouTube videos, filming YouTube videos, on the phone, on FaceTime, cooking, eating, sleeping. That's pretty much what my quarantine has been. I wouldn't say it's fun. I would rather be at school, honestly. But, sadly, school is closed. I will wake up at about 10, maybe 11 in the morning. I do some school work and then I eat. I do all my school work and then I eat because if I eat first, I'm gonna get tired and then I won't want to do any school work. Some advice I may have for you guys is to stay home, wash your hands, stay home again, wash your hands again, wash your hands again, stay home, and wash your hands. And practice social distancing because I think that pretty much will help. I honestly wish that this never happened, but things happen for a reason, and I'm pretty sure this should be gone by the latest summertime. If not, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. A classic movie I would love to recreate is Romeo and Juliet. I would probably choose Back to the Future because um, the effects are pretty cool, even though it wasn't really like, um, they, they're more practical effects, and I think that would be really, really cool to recreate. I would definitely recreate the movie Mirror Mirror. I think it was really cool. Oh, maybe Charlie Chaplin. I am growing a mustache. If I had an opportunity to make a classic film, which one would I do? 
I, I'm kind of such a film purist. I don't think that any classic film should be remade. Um, I think they're classics for a reason, so I say we should leave them alone. Miss, there's some misunderstanding. I have... You called my name is Carl. I'm the manager. What do you need? You sounded like you were about to have a heart attack. Yeah, she called and sneezed on my face. You're very bad, very bad. On my face. I could have Corona. I could have Corona. Do you believe why you should be? I could have Corona. You want Ma'am, stay calm. I'm now gonna pull her aside and talk to her. Okay, just stay calm. Ah, uh, finally. She's crazy. Ma'am, remember, stay six feet apart. Oh my god. Like, I have allergies. I'm allergic to pollen, and I cough because of that also. I have itchy eyes and everything. The reason why I'm in the flower aisle, well, flower and plant aisle right now, is because I'm like, I wanted to get a cactus. And then I was next to a flower, and I just sneezed. And it was, and she was right next to me. She made this whole entire story saying I sneezed on her. But why? Like, I, I'm sneezing inside my mask like this. I chew. How? It's inside my mask. It's on me. She a lion. She did sneeze on me. She sneezed right on me. I know that. Ma'am, please do not go in our conversation. Here, here's what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the security cameras and I'm going to check it. There's a security camera right there, right there, and right there. So, oh, and right there, sorry. So, if we will, we will see who is lying. Okay. And please do not go in other people's conversations. It is very rude. It's, it's okay, it's okay. We don't need to check the camera. She lying. She lying, she lying. Big lie, big lie. I, I do nothing. I old lady. Why would I lie? Ma'am, we need you to stay. Because you are saying a different story than something else. And we need to know if she actually has corona or not. Do you understand? Yes? Oh. Okay. Let's go. Hey, ooh, maybe I'll get this and this. <coughs> As you can see, ma'am, you are lying in this tape. She does not sneeze directly at you. And yes, she is wearing the mask. I, uh, um, uh. I still think you understand that I, um, I'm, yeah, you put in my English, okay? Yeah, you put in my English, okay? Yeah, you put in my, yeah, you put in my, okay? Oh my god. I am sure. Or, uh, I mean, at least we know that I'm not lying. That's one plus. And that I don't have corona. I have already tested myself, by the way. Adios! Though he tells you yes, we have no bananas. We have no bananas today.
communicate. That's like the best advice. Know how to communicate, know how to listen to other people's ideas, know how to share ideas, and then know how to com contribute to other ideas because that can help the process go along faster. Have fun, um, be good at editing, and do not suck at it. You get an app, you test it, you start making, you start getting films from other people and make it, and then you can play around, you get to do whatever you want, and you get to learn new things on the way. Is that you should go for it. Don't let nobody tell you not to do it. Like if you want to do it, do it because you want to do it. Don't let nobody else put you in a position where you can't do it because they told you so. Don't let anybody tell you that your film is weird. My films were plenty weird, and I had fun with it still, so just have fun and be creative with your films. To feel confident, be proud of your own project, and trust the process. You need to have the experience of making bad films and good films until you can really get into the swing of things, because no filmmakers have a perfect track. Like, no filmmakers have only made good films. They have failed multiple times, and that's why they make good films. Um.
<laughs> Do you like scary movies? Alrighty, over to you, Brandon. Alrighty, back to you, Destiny. We should go inside now. Hi, Tiny. Hi, Destiny. Mwah. Do you want to go outside? Yeah, actually, can we go outside right now? Sure, why not? Wait, what is that? It's so shiny. Let's go play with it. No, wait, Tiny. No, Tiny, no. Oh, yeah. We have to go after her. You're right. Let's go. Wait, where are we? Ah! Help me. Help. Ah! Help, help. Oh, my God, there's a big giant monster. Ah! Oh, my gosh, Tiny, we're coming. Don't worry, Tiny. We're on our way. Everybody, <gasps> Destiny, Tiny, are you okay? I'm okay. Where are we? We must be in a human world. We have to find our way back home. Look over there. They must be pets from our world. Who are you? Are you pets from our world? Yeah. Do you want to help us sign the portal? Sure. Alrighty, let's go then. Where are we? We're in a human's house. The portal you described should be here. Hey guys, look! I found the portal! Let's go home! Howdy, partner. No.
Evacuate, there are zombies in the building. 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 You guys still there? Let us know in the chat box what you think about the films. Let us know which film was your favorite.
oh, oh, hungry for something that I can't eat. Then I hear the beat, the rhythm of town starts calling me down. It's like a message from high above. Oh, 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 bring me out to the slums and the streets that I love. Good morning, good morning. Every day's like an open door. Every night is glad to see. Every sound like a symphony. Good morning, good morning. And someday when I take to the floor, the world's gonna wake up and see Baltimore and me. I know every step, I know every song. I know there's a place where I belong. I see all the party lights shining ahead. So someone invite me before I drop dead. So, oh. Dance, and I start to dance with my movie star. Oh, 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 something inside of me makes me move. When I hear that groove, my mom tells me no. When my feet tell me go, it's like a drum move inside my heart. So, oh, oh, don't make me wait one more moment for my life to start. Films have the power to challenge your faculties, awaken your senses, and inspire wonder. Well, edited films do all three. Our young filmmakers in this category have shown the great skill to assemble and edit footage in a way that creates cohesive, moving shots to help tell their story and inspire audiences to invest in all they see and hear. The young editors nominated this year for Best Editor helped to awaken our senses. Here are the nominees for Best DYCD Film Editing. And the winner is... On behalf of Sheila, I'd like to say thank you for this editing award. I didn't mean Tessa took about three days, but it was definitely worth all the hard work. Thank you to the cast of Tessa, Mr. Tyler, the Cypress Hills After School Program, and DYCD for supporting us. Cinematographers have the ability to set the tone in a film. Their choices in lighting, camera angles, and shots have the ability to elevate the ordinary and create defining moments in the film. These nominated cinematographers did just that. Here are the nominees for DYCD's Best Cinematography. Hi, I'm Henry, and um, it is an honor to win um, this category. 
Um, I guess I wanted to thank the film festival itself for making it possible for people who love film to come together and enjoy each other's art like this. And um, I'm really honored to be a part of it. Thank you. We are glad that through this short, silent film, we were able to get our message across and touch every person's soul. Even people who haven't experienced bullying can find in this movie something they can connect to. How many times have we done something that we regret later on and wish we could turn back time to change our mistakes? Unfortunately, that's possible only in movies. So, let's be kind to each other all the time so we would not have to wish to change the past. The experience of working on this movie was one of the most rewarding and fantastic experiences that I had, which totally increased my passion for a movie-making career. Thanks to all organizers of these wonderful programs that give children with the passion like mine these amazing opportunities. Long before the written word, stories have been told. At the dinner table, around campfires, even at bedtime. They all have something in common. They come from the minds of our storytellers. Screenwriters are storytellers whose words bring meaning and depth to life on screen. Here are the nominees for DYCD's Best Screenplay. Have we finally reached a peak? We keep making the same mistakes. It's always a price to pay. We feel unknown. And the winner is... So why do we fuss and fight together? I'd like to take a moment to thank me and you for letting me have all these fun and exciting experiences and for letting me work with all these great mentors and to make so many new friends. I'd also like to thank my mom and dad for letting me always be a part of these fun and exciting moments. If our screenwriter is the storyteller, it is our director who breathes life into their work. Bringing a vision to scale, Translating it in a way that preserves the integrity of a story by choosing the artistic and technical elements needed to tell a story is not a small feat. Yet our young nominees in the Best Director category make it look easy, even in difficult times. And the nominees are... Best DYCD Film Directing goes to... Hello, parents, peers, and the DYDC community. My name is Emmy Lee. When I was signed up for a film camp, I didn't know much about I didn't know what to make of it because I didn't know much about filmmaking. But now I know that filmmaking is fun, entertaining, and a great way to make friends. First, I'd like to thank the Manhattan Youth Program for opening up this path. Without them, I wouldn't even have attended. I'd also like to thank the kind staff, staff that helped me learn about filmmaking and make this experience an enjoyable memory. Actors have the power to deliver instinctive, larger-than-life, memorable performances. Great actors have the power to make us believe every word they say, even when they're silent. This year's Talented Stars, nominated for Best Male Actor, gave stellar performances, and for that we recognize their achievements in acting. Here are the nominees for the Best Male Actor. And the Best Male Actor award goes to... Thank you to my fellow filmmakers, to Brian Rivera, and to Manhattan Youth Film Intensive. I had so much fun working on this film, and I'm glad that you enjoy our short movie during these changing times. Thanks again, and take care. Acting is not about being someone different. It's about finding similarities and what is apparently different than finding myself in there. 
The young actors nominated for the Best Female Actor Award were not only entertaining, they were mesmerizing. Their performances gave life to some of the most memorable characters and moments of our film festival. The nominees for Best Female Actor are The award for DYCD's Best Female Actor goes to... Hi there, my name is Eva, and I'm proud to accept the award for Best Female Actor. And I'd like to thank my mom for staying in the bathroom while I was trying to do this. And my after school program, which is the Italian American Civil Rights League. Also my film teacher, which is Miss Huey, but we just call her Miss Huey for short. And my after school program director, which is Miss Kernan. Also my friend, my best friend, Kyla Miller, because she's the one who helped me with this. And my dog for helping me retake the thing over and over because of her commotion. Thank you very much for this award and I'm very happy. We've awarded many DYCB filmmakers today. But now the time has come to shift the power to you, our audience. As you joined us virtually, you were asked to take a moment and tell us the film that you were most excited to see. You may not have known it, but in that moment, you were casting the vote for the audience award. This is where we give you, our audience, the power to award the cast of your favorite film with this special honor. This honor goes to the cast of the film that has received the most votes. And the winner of the 2020 DYCD Film Festival Audience Award is... I would first like to thank the DYCD Film Festival for giving me the award. I'd also like to thank my film instructor, Miss Huey. She encouraged me to film more and more, even in this really hard time. I would also like to thank my brother. He deserves a lot of thanks and praise because he worked so hard to help me bring my films to life. I would also like to thank my after school program, Italian American Civil Rights League, and our after school director, Ms. Kernan. There is something to be said about a story that captures more than your attention. It captures your heart and mind, transporting you into someone else's world. The nominees for the DYCD Film of the Year had the power to take us on a roller coaster ride full of wonder, surprise, and every emotion that you could imagine. And the winner of DYCD Film of the Year is... Big shout out to Mr. Tyler, the Cypress Hills After School Program, the cast members of Tessa, and the DYCD. I'd like to say thank you to all the friends and families that have supported us to help us achieve this award. What did you guys think of the films? What did you guys think of the awards? How do you feel? Let us know. We're here.
congratulations to all of the filmmakers, all of the winners, all of the nominees, to everyone who's been a part of this festival. We really thank you guys so much. We know it hasn't been easy, but we're really glad that you guys showed up, showed out. And um, yeah, we can't wait to see you in the physical and, and, you know, get a new festival going on in person and in a bigger space and all together. Make sure you guys stay safe, stay home, and congratulations keep it going. All of the. Peace out. Have a good night. Stay home.